the very beginning, I talked about three questions that you must ask yourself when you put the pencil on the paper. Where should you put the mark? How hard should you press on? And what shape is the mark you want to make? Now, the first question, where should I put the mark, has been dealt with in the planning and compositional parts. Now, we're going to move on and talk about the tonal and textural values of the marks that you're going to make. On this cubed object, we have a lit side and a shadowed side. So, if I put in a wash down here, in this manner, I can create one side, and a wash on this side can create the other. So a faint guideline to give me the shape, and then a nice clean edge created by a tonal value difference between the two sides makes the cube look like a cube. So remember, there's no such thing as, as a line in nature. So don't draw around things and fill them in. So there's hardly any sight of uh, a texture inside here. So I'm going to just move it like that. And notice the mark is going in this direction because I want to get the fur-like effect as it runs over there. And then the same thing here. I want, don't want to end this in a solid hard line. I just want to move it down. And I'm going to put a few dots along like that in order to get that just a broken edge um, to create the fur. Now... Here, I'm going to just take this off. Again, I'm going to make it go out in this direction. It's a very important point, this is. The direction in which you put the mark is very important. If I make the mark downwards like this, it does, in fact, give me a mark which is blunt. Uh, but if I make it like this, it gives me a mark which is moving off and finishing with a point. And that's what I want because the hair finishes with a point. So I want a mark that finishes with a point. So there are nice bright highlights in this. So I'm not going to put a wash in to eliminate the white. But what I'm going to do is put in a whole series of lightly made marks to start off with over the head of the otter. And the final touch, just to round it off, is the whiskers. Now, earlier I did tell you I made the decision I was going to make these positive instead of negative, as it is in the photograph. And so, again, don't just do them any old how. You want to make sure you get them right. It's very important. So I'm going to visualise where I'm putting it. I'm going to sort of see it going to there. I'm not going to put a dot, but I'm going to see it going to there, and then I'm going to make a mark like that and try and make it go to exactly where I want it to be. Pick out again the major ones first, something like that one going from there down to there, so it's something like that. And then there's another one right down to here from somewhere there, so something like that. And then there's lots of other small ones which I can put in, which sort of crisscross a little bit over, the shorter ones do, and that just finishes that off. And then the same on the other side. The longest one is down to here, and the longest one's out to here. So put those in like that. Some at the top here, curling down and around, overlapping each other. Oh.